Welcome to A-Level Particle Physics 2 of 5 looking at the standard model. Last video we established particle classification and the groups particles fell into, for instance fermions and bosons. In this video I'll be looking into it with a lot more detail. Here is the standard model I drew earlier. This table separates the quarks, leptons and bosons. And we are going to look at each one in detail, so you may get those extra marks in exam. Quarks are come in six flavours, the up, the charm, the top, the down, the strange and the bottom. Quarks are tiny particles which make up for instance protons and neutrons, or strictly they make up hadrons. Hadrons which are composed of three quarks are called baryons, and hadrons which are composed of two quarks are called mesons. Mesons are composed of a quark and an antiquark pair. Now, before we establish their masses, I need to get something to you which will help you um, with the video and other videos coming. Giga electron volt, an electron volt, and a mega electron volt are key to understand m for understanding masses. GeV for giga electron volt, MeV for mega electron volt and EV for electron volt. A giga electron, vo a giga electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. Mega electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. An electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 minus 19 joules. Okay? Electron volt is the energy gained or lost by charge of a single electron moved across an electric potential difference of 1 volt. Alright? So, we can look at their masses now. The up quark, the down quark, right? the charm quark, the strange quark, the top quark, and the bottom quark. There are six flavours, or six quarks if you like, okay, more strictly called flavours. So, the mass of the up quark is 2.4 MeV. The mass of the down quark is 4.8 MeV. The mass of the charm quark is 1.26 GeV. The mass of the strange quark is 104 MeV. The mass of the top quark is 171.2 GeV. And the mass of the bottom quark is 4.2 GeV. Okay. Now, now we're going to establish the charge. The up quark, the charm quark, and the top quark have a charge of two thirds. Okay. The bottom quark strange quark and a down quark okay, have a charge of minus one third okay so okay two thirds two thirds two thirds minus one third minus one third minus one third So, what gives protons? Well, what gives protons charge? A neutron doesn't have a charge. Why is that? It's to do with the quarks. A proton consists of two ups and one down quark. A neutron consists of two downs and one up quark. 
the charge of an up quark is two thirds. So there's two ups, so you do two thirds plus two thirds. One down quark is minus one third. You add those together, it equals plus one. That's the charge of a proton. Now a neutron is two downs, so that's minus one third plus minus one third plus two thirds. That's zero. So that's basically where the charge is coming from. Now that be, that may be very handy for the test. Now we're going to move on to leptons. Leptons are the lightest particles. The name is derived from Greek as the lepton meaning small. The forces they experience are the gravitational, electromagnetic and the weak nuclear forces, but not the strong nuclear force. Okay. Here are the leptons. We've got the electron neutrino, muon neutrino, tau neutrino. Electron, muon and tau. Now, sorry, back to quarks. The up and down, the electron, neutrino and electron are the four stable versions. Okay? The, the eight are heavier versions. And soon or later decay into these stable ones. That's important. Right? Now, the mass of an electron neutrino is bigger, 2.2 eV. The mass of a muon neutrino is bigger than 0.17 MeV. The mass of a tau neutrino is bigger than 15.5 MeV. The mass of an electron is 0.551 MeV, that's important. One, one, um, the mass of the muon is 105.7 MeV. The mass of the tau is 1.77 GeV. Let's look at the charges. Well, obviously, you know, neutrinos have no charge. Therefore, they don't interact very well with particles. Only they only interact very, very rarely. Right. So there's your electrons. Now we're going to move on to hadrons. Hadrons, unlike leptons, hadrons experience all the four fundamental forces. Experiments in which electrons are scattered from nucleons have revealed that neutrons and protons are not fundamental particles but are composed of yet small particles called quarks. All of the hadrons are unstable. For many years protons were thought to be stable, but recent theories have shown that they have a half-life of around 10 to 32 years. Neutrons are relatively stable inside of the nucleus, but have a half-life of around 15 minutes outside of it. Hadrons, which are composed of three quarks, are called baryons, which we said before, and hadrons, which are composed of two quarks, are mesons. Alright, now we're going to move on to bosons. Okay, or gauge bosons. Gauge boson is the photon, the gluon, the Z neutral, and the W plus and minus. Bosons are particles that carry the four fundamental forces. Four fundamental interactions are na of nature are the gravitational interaction, the electromagnetic interaction, the weak interaction, and the strong interaction. Now let's explain all of them. The gravitational interaction affects particles with mass. It is the weakest interaction but governs the large scale structure of the universe because of its infinite range. Electromagnetic interaction affects particles with charge. It has infinite range too. Weak interaction affects all particles. It is responsible for beta decay and has a range of 10 to the minus 18 meters. Strong interaction affects hydrons. It binds the quarks together and the neutrons, which make up the nucleus of an atom. The range is 10 to the minus 15 meters. So that is the standard model of particle physics. Join me for my next video looking at antimatter, perannihilation, and pair production.